Salut, David Rollin here, and today I want to share with you a new idea, concept, lick that you can take and expand on and, and develop. Let me, let me show you. This is a sweeping idea. So the sweeping movement is um, basically with your right hand, you're just going to sweep across the strings. I'm going to play my root, followed by a fifth. And then I'm going to play the same two frets, but on strings four and three. So frets five and seven on strings four and three. And same on strings two and one. So here it is all together. And if I speed up this movement and play it sweep, it starts to sound like this. Because we're not using any open strings, you can move that shape around starting on any frets in order to change the keys. But before we do that, let's analyze and see what's happening so that we can recycle this lick in other shapes and, and on different musical beds, musical um, uh, keys. In this case, if I took an A as the root, I have a root, a perfect fifth, a minor seventh, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, and a major second. So the idea is to find which keys, which modes use these intervals. And we have the Dorian. The Dorian mode fits that shape. And I can fit my Dorian mode within um, this area of the fretboard. Also, here is the Dorian mode. And then I'll play that lick and you'll see how it fits together. There are other modes that have a root perfect fifth minor seventh, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and major seconds. The Aeolian mode would work very well with that too. The Mixolydian mode would be perfect for that too because the Mixolydian mode also has a root, perfect fifth, minor seventh, uh, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and major seconds. You can expand like that. Now, what about the modes that don't fit these intervals? That's where the beauty of this lick um, comes into existence because you can just alter some of the notes and use the same concept but tweak it to the proper key. Let's take, for example, a Phrygian mode. A Phrygian mode is made of a root, a minor second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, minor sixth, and minor seventh. Well, if we take our lick again, which had a root, perfect fifth, minor seventh, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and major seconds, all we need to do is to alter that major second to a minor second. And now this is what we have. And so forth. You can just expand like that by altering some of the intervals to fit the key that you're playing in. This is a great way to um, sound melodic and, and um, arpeggiating some of these um, modes with a very sweepable pattern and uh, remember that you can use some displacements also in the rhythm you don't have to do it all straight you can you can break this into several rhythm sections to fit your improvs I hope you enjoy this idea and that you take it and work on it and really develop it and fit it into your own playing don't try to sound like anyone else but take simple concepts the simpler the better and expand on it and build your own musical world with these ideas. This is what um, these lessons are all about, just developing your own musical personality. And to help you go further with this, visit my website, guitarplayback.com, where you will find a lot of tools that were specifically developed to help you develop your musical personality. There are some backing tracks on there. Those backing tracks are musical beds on which you can explore new concepts and develop your own musical personalities. Video lessons, inspiring video lessons that you can download and, um, and build your own skills with those lessons. And map tracks, which are interactive backing track. You must check out the map tracks. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. Share this around. Subscribe. More lessons coming soon, reviews, and, and just, yeah, just anything guitar on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and until then, to